Welcome back to Citizens Forum. I'm Will Smith, and my guest in this segment is Elijah Ignatieff, also known as Captain Sweep. And uh, we're, we're going to, we've brought all our toys today, and uh, we've also brought some books. And we don't know exactly what we're going to be doing, but I'd like to start off by saying that my friend Mr. Jib Jab here is showing off his new tinfoil hat. Tinfoil hats are now available in designer, in various designer uh, fashions. So you can make a fashion statement with your tinfoil hat now that 5G is being deployed. Everybody's going to need one. So be on the lookout for those. This particular one is pretty small, but you can see how cool it is with the hair coming up. So I'd like to start off this segment uh, by reading a couple of quotes from a couple of books I've been looking at. And um, this one is called Christina. And it's about a, a, some twins who were born in Switzerland. And the, one of the last chapters says that around the world right now, a network of light is forming. The lights are already here all over the world. It just needs someone to press the on button. And if you've been watching this show and watching and listening to some of the people, you'll know that each, you'll, you can see that some of these people are really passionate about making a new world. And how are, we, how are we getting there? Each person is finding something that excites them, gets them motivated. So I'd like to read this. I picked up this book, which is an autobiography of John Lilly. It's called The Center of the Cyclone. I picked it up in one of those little roadside libraries, which we have a lot of here. It is my firm belief that the experience of higher states of consciousness is necessary for survival of the human species. If we can each experience at least the lower levels of Satori, that is enlightenment, seeing things, having a, a change, a sudden change in your way that you see the world, there is hope that we won't blow up the planet or otherwise eliminate life as we know it. If every person on the planet, especially those in power in the establishments, can eventually reach high levels or states regularly, the planet will be run with relatively simple efficiency and joy. Elijah is one of those people who's just ready for the on button to be pushed, and he's got a whole system here. And I'd like to start off by in introducing Captain Sweep and just have him show us what he's doing. First, I would like to thank you, Will and Jack, for inviting me on your show. And, and for anyone out there watching this, the normal media does not present this type of information. They would never let me on their show to talk about anything because they'd be afraid probably what I talk about. <laughs> but you bring people here that talk about things very different from the normal corporate media. And so right away, this show, even though it may not be well known, is doing things other things are not doing. And in order for us to, I think, get past where we need to get past, like the last guest, Trevor, was talking about, you know, and Jack said, what's the big block? You know, mm -hmm. Why are we not advancing as a species? And it's because a certain groups of people on the planet have control over the corporate media, have control over the banking system, have control over all of the larger infrastructures. Right. And... So they represent reality back to the people in a certain way because they want the people to maintain a certain understanding of what's occurring. They don't want to think they're being fleeced. They don't want to think they're a bunch of slaves. <laughs> they don't want to think that they're, they're going to, through in a government indoctrination system. They call it school, and they call this business, and they give names to words that in many ways are travesties to the whole species and what our planet's going through. And so it's like this, you know, what a great point. I mean, does anyone out there know about 5G? Do you know that they're about to bring in this new bandwidth across the whole planet? And they have no testing of health. Right. They have no understanding of the impact of putting a microwave oven around a whole community and turning it up. What a great idea, yeah, right? Yeah, we've talked about that. I mean, we've, we've been, and we'll talk about it again. It's just, it's something that, that needs to be brought out that, that we don't know. We're now becoming guinea pigs. It's not a fun place to be. No. <laughs> and so to me, the, 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 there's a deep lack of trust for the government. There's a deep lack of trust for these rollouts of technologies that we have no understanding about. But people are trapped in a mindset of sort of, well, that's just the way it is. I can't do anything about it, so I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to live my life the best I can. And yet now, our whole species is on the edge of extinction. You know, we're doing things to ourselves all across the planet that is adding up to a big environmental mess. 
Yeah. Okay, so if if we the thing is that the thing that I really want to talk about is uh, we have to reclaim our sovereignty. But you know, if we go out and protest these things, we just get clubbed and thrown in jail. So we can't really do that. We have to figure out uh, ways of you know allowing our uh, allowing the. I, I just see that we have to let go and let them finish whatever they're doing, and we have to concentrate on doing the things that that we know how to do to build a better world. I mean, we have guests on the show all the time who are working towards that neighborhood resiliency, resiliency, new forms of housing. But how can, the thing I wanted to ask you is how can we uh, do this responsibly without causing a mess in our own life? <laughs> because that's what happens to a lot of people is they get, they get taken out, right? So how can, we, how can we lovingly create a new world in, during the fall of the old one? Well, I think, I think Trevor brought it up in terms of uh, values, that the big work is the inner work. The big work is yeah. your own inner relationship to the outside world. And people call that spirituality. People call it religion. Mm -hmm. uh, and every person has their own relationship, what they consider to be something greater. And right now, we have the Internet teaching us all the different worldviews, teaching us things we've never seen before. People used to go for six months over the Himalayan mountains to get this scroll, which you can get on YouTube, you know, <laughs> in 10 seconds. Right. So it used to take six months, and you had to talk to someone who knew where it was. Now it takes 10 seconds. That is changing our consciousness. I mean, I don't even know, do we talk about that, how much that's changed our consciousness? Well, look, I can create a show with my phone, and not even a laptop now, just with my phone. Right. I, I, can, I can take films and load up to YouTube for no cost. And you know, when we, you and I were growing up, we could not do that. You no, needed a studio, you needed to get accepted, you had to go through a, a filtering process, uh, and these people had to set something up so you could participate in whatever they were going to come up with. And now, the entire planet can create a show for free. So do you see, do you see this, uh, can you give us concrete signs of what you see that's really exciting out there about how this is changing the world. I know I can. I've, I've, I've changed my mind about instead of watching all this idiots, idiotic stuff, I mean, why should I watch that? It's kind of cruel to watch what's happening at the national level. It's like you're watching people who are disabled fight. I mean, looking at and some, of the, some of the protests, I mean, it, it shows that, it echoes that. So how can we, how can we do that? Well, I think we're on the edge of a media technological sort of evolution revolution. And all these older people are watching the news on CBC and TV. Uh, and other generations of people are on Facebook or YouTube and they're getting new media this way. There's a whole bunch of new apps coming out that we don't even know about that are gonna change the nature of how media is created. And there's gonna be group storytelling. There's gonna be us being our own media, creating our own stories, giving these stories to other people like us, mm -hmm. and the attention that the corporate media gets, the, the type of reality they're, fa they're, they're giving us back is gonna disappear, because no one's gonna pay attention to it, because it's already proven itself to be a bunch of lies, and the younger generations know that, and they're not even paying attention. They're, they're on uh, different types of uh, media like TikTok, or, or Instagram, or uh, Snapchat, or the next five new video creation apps that everyone is going to switch because we want something better. We want love. We, we don't want war. Who wants war? Who out there wants war? Nobody. Nobody but they have war. this war-making machine that creates these movies, that creates these ideas, that puts them in the minds of the people that war is okay. But nothing about war is good. And all they do is lie to create it. So a whole bunch of people there, or a few bunch of people here, can make a bunch of money doing whatever they do, which is usually ruining countries. Yeah, I think, you know, that the, the veil is being torn away, and I think people are seeing that, that, that it's not necessary. So my question is, what, what do you see that's, uh, I mean, it's easy to see the bad stuff, and we can't even talk about all the bad stuff. There's mm. so much of it. Mm. So what do you see that's really good? What, what are the new developments besides this media? What else, what other things do you see that are, that are you know, sort of uh, under the surface that are going to come to light? when somebody pushes the on button. Do you have any well, other things you see? Yeah, I mean, I, there's, there's all these awakened beings, people that are incredibly uh, conscious, people that are living lives that most people dream of, 
and they're living models for the whole world. And they're, they're, they're very young, they're in between, they're elders, but all across the planet are these people that don't get as much attention because they're not craving attention, they're just living a, a model life. Mm -hmm. These people have the answers. These people have where our species is going to go, and that new media is going to put attention upon these people and give them the platform to bring that knowledge into the world. Okay, can you give a specific example of this new media? Like I just heard of a, a site I haven't actually visited yet, but it's called Default File Name, and the idea with this is that you just upload whatever it is that came off your device, whether it's a camera or an iPhone or whatever, and so this really interesting stuff is showing up there. Mm. Uh, is there, I mean, that could be interesting, but what are, what are the things that you're thinking of in particular? Well, I mean, I have this very secret plan, right? <laughs> you have a very secret plan, okay. And uh, within it, there's this large organization called Planetary Guardians. And I think everyone out there is a planetary guardian. If you have in your heart and you want to protect Mother Earth and you see what's going on and it's, it's ridiculous to you, you're a planetary guardian. And if you spend any bit of time helping the greater whole to be better, you're a planetary guardian. And that's like an umbrella to take all these different medias and to integrate them into a, a game okay. where anybody across the planet can become their own journalist. Anyone can become their own media system. Anyone can report the truth back to their community. Is that what these, is this part of that? Well, th this, is, this is another part of the plan. Like th these are tools to help people see the world differently. Oh, okay. If you, let's say, okay, here, pick up this and I. So that's a so, plan so, and choice lens. So I got plan here, right? Now let's say I put here. Transformation. Transformation plan. And then I place this. This is a different kind of card. This is a conversation card. So this is an instructional conversation. So I just switched into an instructional conversation, looking at transformational plan, and then with the, with the value of adaptability. OK, so you created this game. And yeah. the idea of this game is when, as players are playing it together, their whole way of looking at the world changes because you sort of say, why not look at it from this? It's a system, right? It's a taxonomy of, of ways to act? Yes. Okay. I mean, right now, communication ha is probably doubling by the month, right? Everyone's it's talking volume, to yeah. everybody, and they're, they're texting, and they're phoning, and they're emailing, and they're doing all these things which, as we grew up, didn't exist. I would get a phone call twice a week and maybe a letter once every three months, and that was it. And everything was face to face. But now we have this, you know, just explosion mm -hmm. of information being processed between human beings. And yet, how many communication courses have you ever had? None. And how many communication <laughs> courses did you have in high school? None. None. How important is communication for a human being right now? <laughs> so we don't get trained in it. But we do it all the time, and we have no idea how it works. Mm -hmm. So and this is helping us to learn how to do that. Well, this is, the mind, we have this thing called a mind. Yeah. And we never talk about the mind. Jack's laughing because he knows he's going like, what goes on in somebody's mind? We, it, it's, it's never brought up that there's something going on inside here, which is <laughs> totally different from you guys. Well, that's true. I call that discrete reality. And uh, one of the things that I, I like about talking to you is that somehow... When we get together, our discrete realities are in tune, and then I have a nice week after that. And, right. it, and, and I think that, and I'm noticing that more and more that when I'm without, when I'm around people that I get along with, then I feel good, and I can feel I can feel it in my in my body. Mm. And when I'm around other people, I don't feel so good. We got to wrap it up here, but it, where can people get your game? Uh, I guess they got to contact me at. Uh, okay. The next list. Team. I'll put it up. I'll put okay. it up on it. The next list is over. So that's thank it. Thank you very We're much. Done. We're done. We're that done. was 14 and a half minutes. Thank oh. you very much, Captain Sweep, and thank you for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.